Okay, so we have exactly one pound of RAM from computers and laptops. And of course, the question is, what should we do with it? Should we sell it to board sort for $34.50 a pound? Or should we process and refine it ourselves and try to get more than $23, $24 worth of gold? I'm curious, does anyone think in this one pound of gold fingers that we have roughly a third of a gram of pure 24K gold? Because today we're going to find out. First thing we're going to do is trim all the gold fingers off of the ram. We'll just be using a pair of tin snips. Okay, now that we've trimmed the gold fingers off of our RAM, let's figure out exactly what our value is at this point. So when we first started, we had one pound of gold fingered RAM. And board sort pays $34.50 for that kind of RAM. Minus your shipping costs of around $11, we had a total value on one pound of RAM of $23.50. Now that we've trimmed the fingers off, board sort will still buy these as trimmed RAM. They buy them at $13.50 a pound. We have one ounce short of a pound. We have 15 ounces. So they pay around 84 cents an ounce. So we're looking at $12.65 just for the trimmed ram here. Of course, if you paid the same shipping cost of $11, you're looking at $1.65. Now for the trimmed fingers, they pay $60 a pound, six zero. So let's weigh this and see what we have. It should be roughly an ounce. Okay, so we've got 1.15 ounces of gold fingers. At $60 a pound, that means they pay $3.75 an ounce. So $3.75 times 1.15 ounces. That gives us roughly $4.31 worth of trimmed gold fingers. Surprising, right? So our next step is going to be to remove the gold foils from the gold fingers. There's several ways to do this, including the AP acid peroxide method, um, vinegar and sea salt, uh, there's a ton of YouTube videos on this. I have a detailed video on using the acid peroxide AP method for recovering gold foils from circuit boards, RAM fingers, slot cards, all those type of things. Uh, you can check that out if you're interested. Today we are just going to be using nitric acid because it's faster, it's easier, and there's not much here to process. So the first thing we're going to do with this is get them down in there and we are going to submerge them in distilled water. For the next step, we will move over to our outdoor table and add some nitric acid. This is not an instructional video. This is how I process gold recovered from electronics. Do not attempt these processes unless you have a working knowledge of the acids and the reactions being done. Proper personal protective equipment must be used. We're going to be using Labs Alchemy 67% nitric acid. Um, we're not going to do this in parts or really even measure it. The copper underneath these gold foils is pretty thin and will dissolve fairly quickly so we're not going to do um, two parts water one part acid anything like that we are just going to add small amounts of nitric until we see a reaction and let it go from there we're going to start with about 10 milliliters give it a little mix and now we will watch for a reaction of that copper starting to dissolve I don't see an immediate reaction, so we will go ahead and add 10 more milliliters of nitric.
I see some bubbles starting to pop up from the middle and around the sides, which means we have started dissolving our copper underneath those gold foils. What we're gonna do now is turn this on to a low heat, cover up the top of our beaker, and we'll just leave it for a while to dissolve all that copper. I'm not gonna record the whole process because it could take 30 minutes, an hour or more, but I'll come back periodically and check on it. It's been about five minutes and we can see the solution turning a greenish blue color. That's from the copper dissolving into solution. And we can see a couple of small gold foils already floating free. So we're just gonna sit back and let that do its work until we have no more reaction, meaning all the copper has been dissolved and then we'll have all of our gold foils floating free in solution. It's been a little over maybe 45 minutes and our reaction has completely stopped and we've got plenty of gold fingers floating around in the solution. So what we're gonna do now is filter this and collect all of our gold foils. We're just gonna be filtering through a standard coffee filter. And what we'll do is get the majority of these foils in the filter and then rinse all the PCBs with distilled water. Now that we've collected all of our gold foils, what we're gonna do is just remove this filter. We're gonna cut it off right about here just to make sure we've got all of our gold foils in the bottom. Put it down in that beaker. In our next step, we're gonna be making aqua regia by using muriatic acid and nitric acid. Now the actual mixing ratio for aqua regia is three parts hydrochloric to one part nitric. And in theory, that is what you should do. But when dissolving small amounts of gold, you will often end up with excess nitric acid. So what we're gonna do is just submerge our gold foils in the hydrochloric acid. Turn it on to low heat and then we're just going to add small amounts of nitric acid until we see a reaction start. Alright, we see reaction and I see yellow color going into solution. So what we're gonna do is just mix this around a bit to open it up. Now we can see our gold foils here. And we are just gonna let the magic of aqua regia take place and dissolve these foils. And just like that, we are done. All of our foils have been put into solution. So the next thing we're gonna do here is cotton filter our solution. This is just a cotton ball in the bottom of the funnel. We're gonna make sure we rinse every last bit of that gold colored solution down into this beaker. Next, we're gonna denox any excess nitric acid using granulated urea. Now you can see that the urea doesn't react or dissolve. That means you have depleted the excess nitric acid that was in your solution. And we'll go ahead and filter this again.
Next, we're gonna be using sodium metabisulfite or SMB to drop our gold out of the solution. That nice white froth on top of our solution usually indicates that all the gold has been precipitated. So what we're gonna do now is double the volume of our solution with distilled water. We're at almost 200, so let's go to about 350 milliliters. And now all that's left to do is leave this for all the gold to settle down. So we'll just leave this alone for about 24 hours or overnight to let all of our gold settle to the bottom and then we'll see what's left. All right guys, there is our gold. What we're gonna do now is get this solution siphoned out into this settling jar. Every time you siphon out a solution, you inevitably pull up a little bit of gold powder. What I do is just collect it in this mason jar and let it settle out and we'll deal with that later as a waste treatment. But for now, let's get this out so we can dry it, melt it, and weigh it. So there's our little gold. We'll transfer this all over to a little bit smaller beaker. We'll give it a few minutes to settle to the bottom and then we'll get as much of that water out of there as we can and we'll dry it out. We'll go ahead and try to pour off most of this liquid. And of course we'll pour off a little bit of our gold powder but not really enough to make much a difference weight wise. And this is like my first step for the waste recovery. So everything pours off into this jar and I leave it for a couple days to any residual gold can settle to the bottom before we move this over to the waste treatment bucket. So there's our gold. Let's get it dried out. We just set that to a low heat setting. We'll just let all that gold powder dry up and then we can melt it. There's our gold, nice and dried out. Let's get it down in our melt dish. All right, y'all, so here we are, the moment of truth. We have our tiny little gold button. Now, is this going to be more than the $23.50 we would have got from selling the ram themselves? Real close. 0 0.210 grams. So the current value of gold is $108.66. So here we've got about $22 worth of gold from the ram fingers. Not bad, just about even on that. But we've still got the trimmed ram that we can sell to board sort for about $12. Or we can proceed to process the BGA chips off of this RAM and see how much gold is in that. If board sort is paying $35 a pound for these RAM sticks, then there's a little over $35 worth of precious metal in these RAM sticks. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. So that's up to you. Do you want to sell your RAM or do you want to recover nice little gold nuggets like these? So that was one pound of RAM RAM is pretty easy to find. Most computers have it, laptops have it. So 
0.2 grams, 10 pounds of ram fingers would yield you about two grams of gold on average. Of course, I'm sure there's some difference. Some might have thicker plating or better plating or who knows, but that's the result for this test on the one pound of ram. Instead of taking our $23.50, we got our $22 worth of gold and $12.65 worth of trimmed ram. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't already, take a second to hit that subscribe button, like and share the channel. Scrap Daddy 365. I hope y'all go out there and get some gold.